Hey everyone, Josh here. This is today's video slash project. We're doing how to lift or lower your Volkswagen Touareg, whatever you want to do, for free with BCDS. Uh, this is an air ride model, so that's step one is make sure you have air ride. And step two is make sure you have tires that are gonna fit. Um, so this video is great if you're changing tire sizes or if you're like me and you're not very good with um, metric tire sizes or numbers and stuff like that. So these tires obviously are not going on. They're 33 by 12 and a half all terrains off my pickup. So there won't be much turning going on, but I'm actually putting these tires on, or that's the plan. They're 20 inch rims, 10 inch wide. I don't know the back spacing. And they're 275, 55 R20s. Uh, this Torig had 275 40 R20s on prior and the one sidewall blew out of the tire. So the 55s are a lot more common. I guess a lot of people like running these Neato 420s stretched on pickups of all sorts. So I figured I got a good price on them so I thought I'd give them a try. So yeah, I'm going to try and get them to fit. I, I was hoping to lower the Torig a bit. But I think to get these to clear, I have to raise it a little bit. So that's not the end of the world. So let's uh, see how they're gonna fit and uh, edit the right height from there. So here I've got the one mounted and installed on the back. I think that's the stock ride height roughly. I think they kind of, they fit nice. They're not too over the top, I don't think. The main issue will be fitting it on the front with the V10, got intercoolers on both sides and you have this bump right here. So that's gonna be our number one issue. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have to run it without liners for the time being and make some V6 or V8 liners. I'm not sure if they have that same bump or not, but I might have to customize something there. Um, yeah, I guess I'll get some more tires mounted. So I got my three tires there, got my three wheels, so I'll probably just video the one so everyone can laugh at my uh, the lack of install skills. Doing it the old fashioned way with tire bars. And I've got some Euro Pace mounting compound from a Euro car. So let's get to it. Let's mount one more and see how it fits on the front. Here I got the tires on, all four sides. Back is no issues. The front, since we're turning, we have issues in here with the support, as well as the intercooler. So this car's actually been lowered already using this method prior to me getting it. So I'm gonna set it back to factory ride height and then adjust it from there. So during this calibration, you need to be using a metric tape measure. You need to measure from your center of your hub height to the highest point of your wheel arch. Same thing on the back. And you're gonna be looking for 497 mil on the front and 502 mil on the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it back to the factory ride height using the VCDS calibration, which I'll walk yourself through. And then we'll 
I'll probably have to raise it a little bit more, but so just quick and easy. Um, if you want to lower your Toreg, after you have all these measurements put in, you have it sitting, everything sitting square, what you're gonna wanna do is instead of putting 497 in, add 20 mil to that. So then it's gonna think it's sitting up higher. So then it's gonna have to drop it and then it's actually gonna be sitting lower. So if you wanna lower your car, instead of putting 497 in, put 517 in and that would lower it the seven or the 20 mil. Same thing on the back. Instead of putting 502 mil in, put 522 mil and that's gonna drop at that 20 mil. So the reverse is true. If you wanna lift it, you're gonna to wanna to think that it's sitting lower. So instead of 497, put 477. And same thing on the back here, put four, I guess 482. And that would raise both front and backs that 20 mil. So it's obviously you're gonna to have to get an alignment afterwards. It's gonna throw your camber out a little bit and might shorten up your CV shaft. So shorten up the life of the CV shaft. So this is kind of do it your own risk. And yeah, if you have rack CV shafts, it's on you. So I'm gonna get this thing set into stock height and see if I can turn. And then uh, I guess we'll go from there. So I'll probably have to do a voiceover because the V10 doesn't have a muffler in it. So I'll try my best to kind of line up words with what I'm filming. I'm just gonna be using my phone here, so I'll try my best. And uh, yeah, let's get started.
I'll shut it off here. So the calibration is now done. For some reason, I'm sitting at about 510 mil on the front and 500 on the back. So my plan is now I want to lift it 10 mil in the front and 20 mil in the back. So I'm going to put in that it's sitting too low. So I'm going to put 487 in for the front measurements. And then I'm going to put 482 in for the back measurements and that should lift it up to roughly to the height that I want. I think I should have lots of clearance in here now. The intercooler is still a bit tight when turning, but it definitely uh, a little bit more height. It's not going to hurt. So yeah, so let's uh, get it running again and redo this. That didn't increase it quite as much as I thought it would, but they're both kind of sitting level there now. I think I've got lots of room up front there now. So yeah, so I think I'm gonna drive around and see how it's sitting after driving and yeah, make sure to hit some bumps and stuff and make sure everything clears. So hopefully this video uh, helps you out and you can now get your Torig dialed into the ride height that you need. So I've got a few little things to finish on this yet. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully the tan one will be coming home you know, soon and we can dig into the engine on that one and see what's going on. So stay tuned for that one and uh, thanks for watching.